New tonight, we are hearing from Grand Rapids City leaders for the first time in response to the damage caused by a massive water main break on the southeast side back in June. 13 on your side's Julia Gorman joins us now with how homeowners confronted city leaders tonight. Julia, those homeowners showed up at tonight's city commission meeting. We've told you several times about this ongoing issue for people impacted by the break near Philadelphia Avenue and Adams Street in Southeast GR back on June 13th. Complaints include homes being destroyed, inability to get insurance to help out, no hot water, mold, sinkholes. Take a look at some of this video here. Last Friday, neighbors got a letter from the city after filing claims. In the letter, city officials said the city isn't liable to pay for the damage because of the governmental tort liability Act. The act says the city has statutory immunity from certain things that cause property damage, and this water main break falls into this category. Now, tonight, people spoke directly to the commission during public comment. Here's just a snippet of what was said. We are heartbroken that we, as senior citizens, I'm 78, that we have to go through this and re do what we have worked hard for for years. This is not our fault. This is your fault. My husband and I are starting to try for a family and now we have half of our home with mold and not enough space to even us to live comfortably. Now after that public comment, we heard from city leaders in response. I could only imagine the, the trauma that that may cause to a, to, to, to a family in that circumstance. I can assure you that this, uh, this commission uh, and this administration is taking this issue very seriously. And we've also reached out to um, some other community partners to see if there are things that can be done to assist outside of uh, this claims process. What our uh, general counsel is advising is uh, another way to reach a settlement on this and having uh, additional representation so that we can come to a mutually agreeable um, um, response. Now, we also talked with the city manager who you just heard from there after the meeting. He told us that he met up with people who showed up tonight afterwards. Take a listen. And I feel horrific about it. I wish this was not the outcome. I am certain we will do more than just sending a claim denial letter to help our residents. Now, this is a story that we've covered, as I mentioned, since that break happened back in June. We will continue to follow it and, of course, bring you any updates on next steps. Juliet. Julia, thank you for that.